The Bach St. Matthew Passion is one of those pieces that if you hear that there's going to be a performance, you just don't miss it. I first directed the St. Matthew Passion in uh, my 2005 Perth International Arts Festival. It was really one of the great experiences of my life. I think the oratorio has uh, just as much of a story as any opera, any dramatic work. Um, and the great thing that we, we have is that when it was written, it was written for an audience to understand every single word. I took it on uh, with huge trepidation because I, it's such a monumental work. But having done that, it was an absolute revelation to take this oratorio uh, in hand and really realise what a great human drama it is. Mendelssohn brought this music into the 19th century. Lindy Hume, by putting it on stage in this extraordinary way, is bringing it into the 21st century. It's going back to this music with our 21st century perspective. To do it in street clothes, without music, without books, just breaks down the barrier between the audience and the piece. And I think it means that the audience really gets to listen to it in a different way. That wonderful duet in St Matthew Passion with the soprano and an alto against the choir that is, is a completely different emotion. It's so clear through the music that that's what it is. And, and you know, these composers were masters of that. I think for both the performer and for me as the performer and the audience, it really strips away that formality that we tend to get when we do an or oratorio type performance. It makes the performers think about it differently. You're not standing there with your book, you're telling the story. And that, that to me, that's what it's about. To work with a cast, as we have in, in 213, of amazing uh, singing actors and to really bring the life story or, and the, the great human tragedy of the passion in an operatic sense or a dramatic sense to, uh, to the fore, but still retain the musical integrity and the musical narrative of Bach's great work. It was absolutely um, a joy. We've traditionally been in the Lyric Theatre for our productions, but this time we're presenting a stage production in the concert hall, ideally suited to this work and to Lindy's concept for it. Great to see the orchestra on stage. It is unusual for orchestras to appear on stage in operatic settings. Let's not try and pretend they're not part of this show. <laughs> I think it shows not just a respect for the orchestral musicians, but for the music itself. It's it's. It's putting it up there equally with the drama, equally with the theatre. This is our first collaboration with the Camerata of St John and this is a band, a Brisbane based band with such a fantastic heart and such a great sound and it was almost the first conversation that I had when I first came to Brisbane. I believe Lindy heard me playing in another setting in Sydney. She was moving to Brisbane, uh, she got in touch with me pretty much on her first day. We met, we got on like a house on fire. I knew that the group was going to love Lindy because she has energy, vitality. To talk to Brendan Joyce and the Camerata of St John and say, please let's work together, let's do the St Matthew Passion. They said yes, we said yes and we just locked it in. Very exciting. As a violinist with the St Matthew Passion, I can't ignore Er Barmadich, the, the uh, movement that has such a beautiful violin solo in it, uh, in which um, Peter is... Uh, riddled with guilt after betraying Christ and he's not just riddled with guilt he feels so bad he is weeping with tears and so Bach um, well he creates this this beautiful theme but he adds things to it, he, he adds ornaments that really manage to depict and portray the tears. So rather than just, he goes. And 
It's incredibly heartfelt and it's such a tearjerker. It's also a great delight to work with Graham Abbott on this project. He conducted the, the project in, in Perth also and I know he is so passionate about this work and he brings to it such a loving care and such a great vision um, and brings all of his opera experience, opera conducting experience and all of his great humanity to bear on this great, great work. I've spoken to Graham Abbott who's to conduct this and Sarah McIver and various other soloists. They've been involved in an earlier version of this production and if you could hear the way they they rave about this as if it were the greatest thing they've ever done in their entire career. That was several years ago, I've seen them since, and they're still saying that. It had a profound impact on me, and I think on the audience, far more than I ever anticipated. It gives me goosebumps thinking about it, because it's still one of the highlights of my performing career so far. There's no way the Camerata of St John's would have said no to this. This is going to be one of the highlights of our 2013 calendar, and I dare say, perhaps one of the highlights in our musical career.